three seconds for a yellow light. It may not sound like enough time, but technically that is the bare minimum a yellow light can be in Illinois. Now imagine that shorter yellow light paired with a red light camera. You can guess what happens. Almost $380,000 last year. That's the revenue from this one red light camera in South Suburban Linwood. I didn't even see the light turn red at all as, you know, as I made my turn. It's the same camera that caught Luis Oseguera on a no turn on red. There is a green right turn arrow. I'm just getting ready to make the turn is when the light turned yellow. That yellow arrow times a little over three seconds, just above the three second state minimum. All of the other yellow lights at the same intersection are about four seconds, according to police. The duration is controlled by IDOT. We have not uh, requested or had that duration changed since the intersection has had a traffic light um, even prior to the red light camera being installed. Oseguera's wife Sandy contested the $100 ticket, saying the yellow arrow is too short. I'm like, no. He was cross. He was at the post, the light post, when it turned yellow. She lost and paid up. It's a way of catching a lot of people, and and making some money for the city. You are just approaching that white line right. as it's turning from yellow to red, but you're mm -hmm. saying you couldn't even see the light at that point. Right, it's out of your view already. You can see that the traffic light is placed before the white line. Linwood police say even if he didn't see what they call the courtesy traffic light to the right, that there is another set of lights across the intersection. But the Osagueras aren't the only drivers complaining. The system is designed for you to fail. The I-team found more people contesting in court. When you have a three second yellow light and you're going 45 miles per hour, your first instinct is to keep going. And by the time I went across, the light snap. You had about three seconds to make a decision. And once the decision's made, uh, a picture's been snapped and you've either gone through it or you stop and you run the risk of somebody rearing and ending you. But Linwood police say, according to IDOT crash data and a study by the private camera company since the camera was installed, there's been a 54% decrease in rear end collisions where the camera faces plus a 37% reduction in total crashes at the intersection. When the uh, decision was being made in terms of where to install the red light camera, there were traffic studies that were done that incorporated both the traffic crashes and the severity of them. Linwood says it's coincidence that the direction with the camera has that shorter yellow turn light. Is it fair to pair that camera with a shorter yellow? I think it's, it's well, whether or not it's fair, that's something that, for, that a traffic feasibility study would determine um, completed by IDOT because they control the duration of the traffic lights and, and specifically the yellow light. The Illinois Department of Transportation says yellow lights are generally shorter for turning movements, which may be why that yellow arrow is only three seconds. IDOT also says that the yellow lights at that intersection have always been the same time before and after the camera. So if you have a tip, call our hotline 312-7507-TIP. Red light cameras, of course, are always a super hot topic. Mm -hmm. We are reviewing all of the emails, all of the calls, and we will let you know if we can help. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.